Hello everyone, in this short video, we will be discussing about spondylolisthesis. It is defined as slippage of one vertebral body related to the one below. It can be anterolisthesis which is forward slippage or retrolisthesis which is backward slippage. It occurs more commonly in lower lumbar spine likely due to spondylolysis. Spondylolysis is defect in the pars interarticularis. In this sagittal CT image, we can see there is forward slippage of L5 vertebral body over S1. This is anterolisthesis. In this lateral X-ray, we can see there is backward slippage of L2 vertebral body over L3. This is retrolisthesis. There are two classifications for spondylolisthesis. Those are Wills classification which divides it into types by etiology, Mayerding classification which grades spondylolisthesis by severity of the slippage. Grade 1 is 0 to 25 percent. Grade 2 is 26 to 50 percent. Grade 3 is 51 to 75 percent. Grade 4 is 76 to 100 percent. Grade 5 is more than 100 percent which is also known as spondyloptosis. Grade 1 and grade 2 are considered as low grades. Grade 3, grade 4, grade 5 are considered as high grades. How to measure this severity is, first we should draw the horizontal line along the superior end plate of the inferior vertebra. Then two parallel lines are drawn along the posterior cortex of the superior and inferior vertebral bodies. Then the distance between these two lines are measured at the level of uh, superior end plate. Scottish dog sign is normal appearance of spine in oblique projections. Transverse process of the spine is represented by the nose of the dog. Superior articular facet is represented by the ear of the dog and inferior articular process is represented by the front leg of the dog and pars interarticularis is represented by the neck of the dog and if there is any break in the pars interarticularis as we are seeing here then this is known as spondylolysis in which we will call it as Scottish dog collar sign which is abnormal. Inverted Napoleon hat sign is seen in cases of spondylolisthesis of L5 vertebral body over S1. This is an AP view showing spondylolisthesis of L5 vertebral body over S1 and this is an inverted Napoleon hat sign. Let's see grades of spondylolisthesis. Here we can see less than 25% slippage. This is grade 1 spondylolisthesis. Here we can see slippage up to 50%. This is grade 2 spondylolisthesis. Here we can see slippage from 50 to 75 percent. This is grade 3 spondylolisthesis and we can see slippage up to 100 percent. This is grade 4 spondylolisthesis. This is lateral radiograph of cervical spine showing grade 1 anterolisthesis of C6 vertebral body over C7 and there is a vertical radiolucent defect noted in the pars interarticularis of C6 vertebral body and on AP view there is spina bifida noted at C6 vertebral body. And sagittal reformated images shows there is sclerotic borders to the pars interarticularis defect and the axial images shows of spina bifida. The findings are suggestive of congenital cause for spondylolisthesis. This is sagittal T2 weighted MR image showing a fracture of the anterior aspect of the D12 vertebral body and we can see there is anterolisthesis of D11 vertebral body over D12 vertebral body. And there is a severe compression of the cord noted. And this is a case of a traumatic cause for spondylolisthesis. And we can see this is sagittal CT image showing anterolisthesis of L5 vertebral body over S1 with sclerotic borders. Uh, this is a case of a degenerative cause for spondylolisthesis. So while reporting a case of spondylolisthesis, what we should mention in the report is the cause for spondylolisthesis, grades depending upon the severity and whether it is anterolisthesis or retrolisthesis. For example, if it is a traumatic cause and grade 2 anterolisthesis, what we should mention in the report is traumatic grade 2 anterolisthesis. Coming to the treatment, indications for surgical management of spondylolisthesis includes symptomatic grade 1 or 2 slips refractory to non-operative management grade 3 or higher slips, progressive slip of more than 1 grade and instability. Thank you all.